1990, more than one billion people around the world were suffering from hunger. Has the situation improved in the past 25 years? Yes, a little, but a lot still needs to be done. The target of the United Nations in 1990 was to have the proportion of undernourished people around the world in 25 years. Even if the goal has almost been reached, in 1992, 23% of the global population was undernourished, against 14% in 2013. Still, the number of people suffering from hunger is declining too slowly. The explanation for this is that while the proportion of undernourished people has decreased, the world population has grown by 2 billion in 20 years. In the end, there was still 842 million, or 1 in 8 people, suffering from hunger in 2013. If the United Nations, donor countries, the European Union and other non-governmental organizations had done nothing, this figure would be much higher. So, let's allow some cautious optimism. What has worked well and in which regions? In Yemen, in the Arabian Peninsula, for example. There, the United Nations program provides rations of wheat and vegetable oil to families that send their daughters to school. As a result, within a few years, more than 200,000 girls have been enrolled in school and more than one million people have been able to eat their fill. In Malawi, in Africa, wintertime agricultural projects are helping to save people from hunger. An irrigation project enables farmers to improve their farming practices. They also receive training in better seed systems. And the European Union in all this? During the first half of the 2000s, the sharp rise in food prices slowed down the fight against undernourishment. This was partly due to speculation, which is why the European Parliament successfully fought to bring into force the directive MIFID2. This law reduces commodity speculation on European stock markets. The EU and its member states are the largest providers of development assistance funds. In 2012, they provided 55 billion euros in aid. 60 million people worldwide have already benefited from EU food aid. Even in Europe, nearly a quarter of the population doesn't get enough to eat. That's why the European Parliament obtained an extension for food aid within the EU itself. Between 2014 and 2020, 3.5 billion euros will be allocated to the fight against hunger and social exclusion. Thank you.